So we, we go through Little Elm, we're over off of Highway 380. Right. Uh, but Oak Point, is this a, is this a new, newer community or is, it an, is Oak Point an older community? Oak Point as a whole, right. not Prairie Oaks, but Oak Point as a whole. So Oak Point as a whole is, a, is older. Yeah. It used to be, uh, well, it's mostly farms and, okay. and agricultural, yep. ranches, polo fields, yeah. things like that. And it used to be very, very remote. Yeah. It was really, if you wanted to come to Oak Point, we're on a peninsula in the lake. Right. You had to drive up to 380 and come down this way. Come down. But now we've got the bridge going over to Little Elm. Yeah. And then we've got the bridge on the other side going to Highway 35. Right. So now we have Highway 720, which is expanded. Yeah. So was it four lanes now? Yeah. Six and sometimes lanes. Sometimes six lanes. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and that, uh, that headache of construction is already behind us. Yeah. So, um... So development is starting to really take off. Yeah, well, we're seeing homes come up and everything. Mm -hmm. So it, I think it's right, we're right at about two o'clock right now. So okay. for so there are already some people that are, are that are joining us. Hey, just so you know, Samantha is gonna be taking a look. So if you have any questions, uh, just put them in the chat real All quick. Right. But uh, you know, Go Deleo is here and we're in Oak Point. We're at Prairie, Prairie, What's it called? Prairie Oaks. Prairie Oaks. Prairie Oaks in Perry Homes. Yes. But we got we got a great professional here in new construction. It's Lane Atkins. Lane, it's it's great meeting you. You too, sir. Uh, and we just met online. Really, you know, I don't know. You reached out to me and said, yeah. "Hey, would you like to come and take a look at our homes?" And I said, "I've never seen a Perry home. Would love to see Perry homes." Wow. So Miss Samantha and I. Really enjoyed it, and you welcomed us in to, to do a little live video. Uh -huh. Lane Atkins, everybody, you got it. <laughs> Hello. So we want to know who Lane Atkins is. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Lane. Well, I'm a fifth generation Texan, which oh, kind of makes me unique. Yeah. Uh, seems like most Texans are, are from somewhere else, yep. but uh, I grew up actually in Arkansas. Okay. Went to Baylor University. All right. Um, moved around a bit since then. Uh, started out well. For 15 years, I owned a small business, a senior care business, mm -hmm. but uh, about three years ago, I sold it and yeah. became a realtor for about a year and a half. Yeah. And then I heard a lot of great things about Perry Homes and new home construction sales. And so I interviewed and was lucky enough to land That's the great. position. And I've been doing this now since for, it'll be, Two years in February. Two so years. A year and a half or so. And where were you before Prairie Oaks? So I've been in Winsong Ranch. Okay. And I've been in Hollyhock. Oh, wow. So All right in this here, area. Uh, we have about 20 communities here in Dallas. Okay. Uh, mostly up here on the 380 corridor. Yeah. Um, Glen Crossing, sure. Mustang Lakes, uh, yeah. you know, along those Little Elm, of yeah. course. We also have some in McKinney, some in Devonshire, some in the Fort Worth area, but we're, we're pretty well spread out. Perry Homes has been in business for over 50 years, for 53 years. Wow, okay. Uh, it's a family-run business. Started All right, by so it's not, it's not part of any of the big, large construction no, gr groups. No. We okay. only build in Texas. Oh, wow, okay, good, good. good. But we're, I would say, a medium to large size company with about 1,000 employees and over a billion dollars in revenue. Wow, that's great. How many total pads do you have right now in this general area? Uh, well, in Prairie Oaks, we've got 300 lots in phase 300 two. lots, okay. Mm -hmm. and, and we're about one third of the way sold through those, but we still have some really prime uh, lots available to yep. build on. Yep. But uh, we're moving quickly. This is a very popular neighborhood and we sold 12 homes last month. Wow, that's great. How Oaks. many total lots will be in the full build out? It'll be 1,200 after 1200. the third phase is completed. Okay, mm -hmm. and in, in general terms, you said you had three size lots? Yes, sir. So we've got, uh, this is the 45 foot model okay. that we're standing in. Yeah. So that, when we talk about feet, not everybody knows. That's how right. wide the front uh, of the lots are. Right. So a smaller number, the smaller size homes that go on there. So yeah. we have a 45 foot model home, a 50 foot model home, and a 60 foot model home. Yeah. They get bigger, more beautiful and more expensive as you go sure, up, go up sure. the ladder. So 
that's really interesting that you brought that up because that was something that um, I think now Samantha and I are going through our first year of renewals and mm -hmm. doing all those testing. And when we first got our license, we, we didn't know about the frontage mm -hmm. fees. Right. And now all of a sudden we're, we're being you know taught about frontage fees. Right. And now you just explained it. It's a lot easier hearing it from you <laughs> than actually going online and reading through the stuff, right? I don't think we're going to forget that one, Lane. So no, thank you very you're much. You're welcome. Now, uh, let me ask you just real quick. Um, uh, does Perry Homes run any specials throughout the year? You know, it's funny you mention that. We have 1% uh, off the price of the home for first responders and essential uh, workers right now. So if you're a nurse, a policeman, uh, working on the front lines or any essential service, yeah. we have a 1% discount. Okay, so that's great. We're going to revisit. So make sure you stick around till the end so we'll revisit that special. Okay. Okay. All right, so you, you've been with Perry Homes. Mm -hmm. You told us a little bit about Perry Homes. You said you're a fifth generation Texan. Yeah. That's what I'm really interested in. Okay. Okay, so where's the family originally from? West Texas. West Texas. Uh, but, okay. but my grandparents grew up in Rockwall and Garland. Okay. So right here. Yeah. Um, my grandparents, my parents were born in Rockwall and Garland. Yeah. I was born at, at Baylor downtown, Big yep. Baylor. And my kids were born at Plano, Presby Plano. Oh, very cool. So, yeah. So, yeah. so you know, we, we just moved in four years ago. Okay. Um, I am going to consider myself a multi-generational Texan that came home. Okay. And the reason why What's I'm that? saying that is uh, uh, part, of our, part of my family mm -hmm. um, uh, actually came up through Chihuahua, Mexico. Oh. And they settled into Texas. Uh -huh. A lot of family in El Paso, Texas. Okay. So when you start talking about West Texas, well, you can say El Paso's West Texas. Right. It's like the western tip yeah. of Texas. Um, but it is El Paso. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm real proud of, of my family roots in there. But everywhere else we go, yeah. they say, El Paso, is that still in Texas? Oh. So, <laughs> and then, uh, Samantha, were your, did your parents spend any time in through uh, Texas with when, your dad? When my dad was in the Air Force. When, so her dad's in the Air Force and-, and, okay. and uh, San Antonio, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. that was before Samantha's born. Oh. <laughs> but we'll just say that she is also multi-generational, but okay. we like being Texans. Yeah, it's uh, a great place to be from. It's very oh, pro-business, yeah. people are friendly, and we have a lot of people moving here to Texas. Oh yeah. From all over. Oh so. yeah, and, and we have a lot of people watching from California. So if you're in California right now, you're considering moving out to Texas, mm -hmm. we're gonna make sure that we get Lane's information but more importantly, if you want to buy a Perry home with Lane, make sure you come talk to us, and then we'll come and talk to Lane. Right? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, make one point of contact. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. So where are we right now? What, what model is this? So this is the 1950 with Perry Homes. Our square footage is the name of our model. That's great. So it makes it very simple. It does. Uh, this is the 1950. Mm -hmm. It's a three-bedroom, two-bath with a study and a two-car garage, and then a mudroom. Um, one, of the, one of the great things about Perry Homes is that we're really known for our open floor plans, Yes. our tall ceilings, our walls of windows, yeah. tons of natural light. Yeah, uh, flooding I'm just here. gonna but wrap around as you talk. You'll notice that the family room pours into the dining room, pours into the, to the kitchen, and so this is a fantastic home for entertaining. Yeah. And this is most of our floor plans. Uh, and besides the open floor plans, we're also very energy efficient. So uh, your California viewers, yep. um, I'm sure are very interested in that. But we're able to do that through irradiant barriers, tankless water heaters, um, let's see, vinyl windows, uh, extra insulation, yeah. good, good ACs. Um, so everything that we can do to make it as energy efficient as possible. Yeah, it's very comfortable in there right now. And, you know, I, I don't hear the air conditioner really blowing hard. No. So it's very nice. So uh, you talk about the open concept. I'll tell you one of the things that I'm just, the, the first thing that caught my eye was this beautiful arch, mm -hmm. okay, that is, that is this continuation from the kitchen into the family room. And, and, and it is amazing how open and, but still it's very comfortable. Right. 
really comfortable. Now we're entertainers. I don't okay. know. How about you at home? Uh, some, you know. Some, okay. <laughs> I work Saturdays and Sundays now with this new job. But, sure. Uh, yeah, we love sure. to entertain, and especially on holidays. We're oh yeah. On Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas. That's when we like to have yeah family over. Yeah. So. And so, can you imagine? And Samantha, you know how much we entertain back in California. But look at how big and yeah, roomy this try. kitchen Honestly. is. Mm -hmm. yeah. This. Uh, do you know offhand, Lane, how how what the square footage is in this kitchen? You know, I'm sorry, I don't. Uh, that, that's fine. But I mean, let's just if if you if you look, I'm just walking around, and everybody knows that I'm I'm a big guy, and there is like plenty of room in here. It, it's it is incredibly roomy. I think you, this is a probably about a three by four counter. Okay, so you got this beautiful countertop, um, this this center, and this this is I, I can aut I'm automatically thinking right. Uh -huh. This is where we're laying out the food. Right. Okay, and we got a little antipasta, you know, going on. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, <laughs> think about it. A, a bowl of bread. Uh, you know, even even when we do the carne asada, you got your entire taco ball taco bar yeah. here. Uh, it, this would be phenomenal. And then you look around the counter space. The counter space in this kitchen is, inc there is a ton of counter room. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's really smart. And then I, I love the, the built, you know. I, You've got the slide-in gas range. Yeah. With this built-in griddle. Yes. And, of course, uh, we have custom cabinetry made by Chandler Cabinets. This is high-end wood products and not your particle board. Yep. Things like that. But we still, what Perry shoots for is quality at value. And that's really what we're all about. No, nah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, how many uh, 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 color palettes are there available in this model? So if you're going to build, yeah. you know, we have dozens to choose from at the base level. Mm -hmm. So... Um, Building, you can make it just as personal as as you like. Right. You go pick a premium lot. You know, maybe yeah. something that backs up to the green space. Um, you know, you can pick your floor plan that'll fit on there. You can choose your plan options, like maybe uh, the eight foot doors, the extended yep. covered patio. Uh, you can upgrade the kitchen to a cooktop and vent hood, um, and then dozens, literally dozens of backsplashes ceramic tile floors flooring options paint colors so yeah. but it sounds maybe overwhelming but we've got it down to a science yeah where, you know you go to the design center for two hours mm -hmm. everything's consolidated for you right there right so it makes it easy you're also working with a professional interior designer so they're not going to let you make a huge mistake right you know? right um, right and that's important but where's the design center from here it's in Coppell. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, so not, too, not far, too far away. But yep. you get two two-hour appointments. and um, That's great. You, know, you get to select your brick color. Yeah. Um, so really, you can make it your forever home. But Perry is also great about having lots of inventory homes at different stages of construction. Yep. Typically, each model home is going to have about eight homes at different stages of construction. So we've got things maybe that have just been poured, the foundation, Yep. You could snatch, snatch those up and still customize them quite a bit to move in ready homes yep. and everything along that spectrum. All right. And, and do you have any uh, current spec homes right now that are available? Yeah, we have eight spec homes right now. I have this exact same floor plan. It's yep. listed for three twenty four nine hundred. dollars um, And then in the 45-foot section, that's the largest plan that, yep. we, that we build. We go all the way down to $1,650. Which, um, but, but the way we've done it makes it seem a lot larger, uh, and it's only two hundred and ninety nine thousand. Wow! So we should have an event, Lane. Yeah, let's do you it. You know what? Can you imagine that? We'll get a we'll get a food truck out here. We'll do an open house event. Yeah. yeah. We'll get one of those balloons with the <laughs> fingers going all. Over. Yeah, we love it. Yeah, we so we could have a lot of fun. Yeah. Because uh, this is a great area. So uh, the schools, that is, is it Little Elm School District? We're or in Denton Independent School District. Okay, Denton. All right. And our daughter went to, to Denton High. Okay. Uh, are, is this one feeding into Ryan? We go to Ray Braswell. Braswell. Oh, Braswell. That's right. The new high school. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right across the street. Elementary. Okay. And Rodriguez Middle School. Okay. Fantastic. And we 
get lots of great reviews. We have people moving from other parts of the same school district yep. who want to remain in the school district, and they really rave about it. It seems like Bree Braswell, uh, athletic-wise especially. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something, yeah, something special. So. Yeah, yeah. And we live right across the street from Braswell. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's so gorgeous, very Great campus. Yeah. You know, they, a lot of technology there. Mm -hmm. Where a lot of people that are moving out into this area are from the technology sector. Right. A lot of people working at home. Now, we know right now a lot of people are working at home. A lot of people. But there is some home-based offices out here. Right. Is, are you seeing that come into Prairie Oaks as well? Yeah, we're having... You know what's uh, funny is, used to be, maybe 10 years ago, people lived in Frisco yep. and would commute downtown. Right. Because Frisco was the affordable area. Right. Well, Frisco is not so affordable anymore, but it's now a job hub. Yes. So people live in Little Elm and commute to Frisco. Yeah. We also have empty nesters. Oh, yeah. We yeah, have yeah. quite a few of those. We have relocation clients, people working from their home. And this floor plan is great because... Yeah, let's take you, a look. If you wouldn't mind, no. I'd like to show you. Uh, I just love this office space. Right here at the front entry... And it's got these beautiful French doors. Oh, wow. And, it, and it's right up front. So now these built-in cabinets are, are uh, an upgrade. But, you know, without them, you'd, you'd have quite a large space yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. And it's a flex space. If you're not working from home, yeah. it could be a second TV room. It could be a kid's playroom. No, this is nice and roomy. Yeah. Now, on the, the French doors into the office mm -hmm. uh, can those can those be swapped out too so if you wanted to make this into a nursery can we get solid doors yes i mean yes and no yeah the, the, the spec homes are going to come just like this got it yeah yeah i got that but if you were if, if you we can custom do you like after you close right right yeah. um, right and and several of our plans have uh where you could do an option of this could not this particular plan, but you could have a dining room instead of a lobby. Oh, yeah. yeah and yeah. it takes the doors out. But, yeah. And if you're going to the design center, they'll let you make, let you make some changes like that. Yeah. And, the, you know, the other thing, like you were saying, you take the, the doors out. This is a, a, a great sitting room, too. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is a great space. I love it. really like so, it. And if you'll notice, these are wood look ceramic tile floors. I don't know if you can point that direction, but... Uh, if you have pets, yep. or things like that, they these, wear real well. They wear real well. You're not going to stain them. They're not going to scratch. Um, and you know, flooring is hot right now. Yeah. There are so many different styles, different options for people. I mean, you know, we're talking to people that are uh, from California, like us. Uh -huh. You know, we're used to stone. Right. So we had some stone uh, flooring. Uh -huh. But so out here, you know, that's kind of going away. Right. But we're seeing a lot of people uh, looking at the ceramic tiles, looking at the laminates, uh, yeah. the vinyl, yeah. the, the, the vinyl planks. Yeah. yeah. You know, that was, you know, linoleum, right? right. And now they got a big fancy five-syllable five, five words, <laughs> you know. It's vinyl wood-like planks right. with the, uh, scraped, yeah. you know, and uh, it, it, all kinds of things going on. They've really come a long way. Yeah. So. And here we are at the utility room. Yep. And the thing I like about this utility room is you have natural light here. Yeah, and a perfect. Window, um, instead of it being kind of tucked away under a staircase or something. But Very you know, you roomy. Washer, oh, yeah. And even you could put a freezer in here. Put a freezer, maybe a folding table. Another refrigerator. Yeah, yeah exactly. Lots of room in here. Lots of room. Yeah. Um, let's see. Then we've got our, our mud room, which... In the model home, we've got this would be a two-car garage. But sure. You can imagine coming in and kicking off your shoes. Oh, yeah. Putting up your coat and you're really feeling at home. Kind of a drop-off space. Right. No, I love it. And this comes standard, just like this. Oh, wow. So. Well, that's perfect. And kind of covered the kitchen yeah. already. Love the kitchen. How big is that, how big is that, that pantry? I mean, you know, I'm a cook, so yeah, I... It's oh, like yeah. Walk-in pantry. So. Yeah, very nice. Plenty of room. 
Plenty of water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, the, the, the kitchen is is great. Very lots of, lots of room. Detail. I love it. And, and you know, uh, we have a lot of our clients always want to know how high uh, how high are the archways. Um, so this is a ten foot ceiling. Yeah. These are eight foot arches. And that's important. We got uh, we got some tall customers okay. coming out here. Okay. I mean, you know, a couple that are close to seven feet, and they, what? you know, so even even if it's an eight foot high arch. Uh -huh. They still get that feeling of having to duck, right? You know, and I think eight feet would make them real com comfortable. Uh -huh. But we've been seeing some homes that uh, you know the archways and the doorways are you know you just know, standard. Door is six foot eight. Yeah, so they're gonna be they're so ducking they're in. Those yeah, the ones that used to have to worry about. Yeah. yeah, but this is this has this nice high ceiling. Archways are high. People be very comfortable in here. LED lights. Again, Perfect. In terms of energy efficiency. Yep. And all Perry Homes Smart Come Standard. So we've got the Nest thermostat. Oh, Again, very cool. Save some money. Yeah. Uh, video doorbell for security. Uh, even a Wi Fi enabled garage door opener. Very so nice. You could open or close it from anywhere with internet connection. Yep. Uh, you can see if it's opened or closed. You know, if you went, went to That's work. That's perfect. Can't remember if you shut the garage or not. Yep. Yeah, or maybe get a text at 10 p.m. that. Did you know your garage door is still open? Yep. So Very uh, good. Programmable light switch and then a, a keypad entry. And Very nice. And this is a second bedroom, guest bed, excuse me, bathroom. And that's really gorgeous. Wow. It has some accent tiles. Yeah. That's nice. Very roomy. I, I love the shower. Yeah. No, I, lo I like the accent tiles yeah. especially. But if you're building, you could make that a, a walk-in shower instead of a tub, mm -hmm. things like that. And then this is a secondary bedroom, or second bedrooms, two yeah. or three. And this is normal. This is you know a lot of a lot of builders do a ten by ten yep. in all their second. This is twelve by thirteen. So you know, plenty of room. It gives you a lot of space. Yeah. And we also are great. With our closets. Oh, so wow. Instead of having little Come French take doors and opening up, you know, yeah. we've got a walk-in closet. Oh, very nice. Nice and deep. Yeah. Oh, I like the switch. Yeah. Oh, this is really nice. That's a, that's good closet space. The Perry Homes uh, design team is really first class. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got a di very distinct style that really everybody loves. I like those shelving, those clear shelves. This is a... Ah. A mirror image of the other one, pretty much. Love it. You know what else I like, Lane? And, and we again, we have a lot of customers that that uh, talk about this. Is the bedrooms are set back from the street, from the right. front door? Oh, you know, true. and a lot of the customers, they you know, they walk into the house, and if there's a bedroom right. By the front door, right. they'll, they'll turn around and walk rock, walk oh, right out. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, and, and I, you know, I think it's a noise level, but it's a security also. Yeah. Right. They don't want their kids right off the front door yeah. if they're in the back of the house. Now this floor plan has that. You know, we do have some with the sure. bedroom up front, but we have so many floor plans between yeah. 45, 50, and 60. Yeah. There's a price point and floor plans. For and all variations for everybody. Yeah. yeah we can get you. Well, that's great. And then uh, let's go to the outdoor living area before I show you. Okay. That. But look at this space in here, too. I mean, I like plenty of space in here, nice and comfortable. Mm -hmm. and to, to your point, the design team has done a fantastic job. I mean, I, I can see us living here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Beautiful. So here we are at the outdoor living area. So... Covered patio. We pour this foundation, the mm -hmm. patio foundation, with the rest of the foundation. So it's not an oh, add-on. good. It's never going to separate. Uh, also, the roof line pitch and everything was, yeah. was made to accommodate this. And we use hardy board type uh, ceiling. Mm -hmm. So this is cement based, so it's never going to rot, wow. be infected. But this is a good size, Absolutely. you know, uh, patio here. Uh, it's... It's probably 
a third larger than the one we're living in right now. Um, but plenty of space. Uh, it, it, are they coming plumbed already for an outdoor uh, video? Electrical outlet, yeah. Electrical outlet there, so it real, makes it real easy right. to wire. Especially nowadays with smart TVs, yes. you don't even need a cable you know, outlet. A lot of the time. No, it's so a Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, yeah, Wi-Fi enabled. And this is a smart area, uh, so I know that the... Uh, uh, this is fiber, ATC yep. fiber. Yep. So we've got good, good speed internet here. This is a nice size yard, too. Is this is this the standard? This is the model home model yard. Model home yard, okay. All right. That's but, the, but the six foot board on board fence is standard. Sounds like you're doing a little yard work over there. They tend to do that out yeah, here. But, I mean, look at this yard. It's, like, it's beautiful. Yeah, they, they come out a lot to keep that thing open. So. Yeah, this is very nice. This is a beautiful home. It is. One other thing I'd like to mention about Perry sure. Homes is that we have an industry leading 210 warranty. So it's two year workmanship and materials. Mm -hmm. That's things like two years on the appliances, the air conditioner, uh, plumbing, electric, all that's two years. Right. Industry av standard is one year. Right. And then 10 years on the foundation. Well, that's great. Um, and roof. Uh, now, tell me a little bit about, does Perry do anything in conditioning um, the, the, the land prior to pouring the foundations? Yeah, actually. Um, yeah, we do quite a bit of preparation. We have the, the foundations inspected three times. Okay. So pre-pour, they want mm -hmm. to make sure the soils are correct. Yep. Uh, once they've got the rebar down. Yep. And then post-pour. Yep. So they just make, their, a, a third-party engineer comes out and makes sure that all of that is done correctly. And hey, I'm real right. sensitive with that. My, my father is a bit of building official, retired but oh, okay. he, back in California. He actually wrote a lot of the UBC okay. um, uh, that Texas now follows. Oh. Uh, and so, you know, I'm always concerned out here with the clay out here. It's a big issue. You know, and you got foundation issues out here. Right. So it's real important that, you know, our, our builders out here are conditioning mm -hmm. the soil prior to build placing the foundations it's very important. so that's so, good to know that perry's doing their their, their their doing the right things for we people also use 3000 psi concrete and industry mm -hmm. average there is 2600 so you know we use the best materials and practices possible while still keeping things affordable now this it, room is 17 by 16. It's huge. plenty big it's huge yeah, yeah plenty this is a king big size bed it's got swallowed up in there. Dresser, I mean, night, night table, even a sitting area. Yeah. There is just a ton of room in here. Mm -hmm. I like all the natural light that comes in through yeah. here, but my goodness. Beautiful. And again, I, I mean, for all, of you, for all of you that are interested, Samantha, go sit in that doorway. Go stand in there. Don't sit. <laughs> yeah, let's go sit. All right. Let's sit. But, you know, Samantha's eight foot tall, so you can imagine how, <laughs> how high that is. Those are eight foot doors, yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. I would not be cleaning that at all. <laughs> so for all those future Mavericks, right. or those that are, you know, playing at the Texas Legends and what have you, this is a great place for them to come live Absolutely. here because the doorways are plenty tall enough for the, for the basketball players. You know, and for the average six footer like myself, yeah, it just brings your eye up and makes the oh yeah makes the room feel bigger. Oh yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yes, much uh, very comfortable. And then uh, here we are in the master bath. <laughs> Got this nice drop-in garden tub. Yeah, and I'd also like to point out that this shower, there's no shower pan here. So, you know, sometimes there's a metal or yeah. plastic pan that will yeah. crack and mildew. Yeah. This is poured, this is done at the same time as the foundation. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. I love the tile work yeah, in there. They, they really did a great job. And then we've got a walk in closet. Wow. Yeah, this is a nice size closet, yeah. too. It's got some of our tiles and stuff. Yeah. But, uh, now, is this your other shirt? Yeah, that's... Uh, that's it's important. Cool. You guys... That's almost my size. 
So, you know, for, for those people that, that aren't in Texas, uh, now Southern California knows because of the heat out in Southern California, but we are getting, you know, what is it? Is it going to be 90 today in the 90s? Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's snowing in Connecticut. Oh, no. And, and, and uh, uh, you know, not out here. This is a beautiful home. Thank you. This model would be about 370 with all the upgrades, oh. but I have a spec home that's 324,900 ready right. to move in. Yeah. So. Oh, we need to sell it. Yeah. 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 We need to sell it. Uh, I like that the and and it's one story and this, one this story. model yep. is one story. But we didn't really look at the elevation from outside. Yeah. No. Let's go take a look at that. Absolutely gorgeous as well. Hopefully, people were able to see the elevation. Let's take a look at that. Well, you're a little bit delayed, Saucy. All right, good. Cool. So it's real easy to get to. Uh, so why don't you just tell us real quick, Lane, the, the quickest way to get here, uh, like if, if somebody flew in uh, to Dallas, like Love Field, okay. it's so easy to get here from Love Field. Right. You just take Dallas North Tollway yep. north to 380, turn left on 380, go for eight, eight or nine miles. Right. Turn left on 720, two miles there, and uh, we're on your left. Yep. And so. here's the other cool thing about this location, right? So, you know, Lane, Lane talked to you a little bit about the history of, of uh, Oak Point. Uh, but the amount of services, retail shops, restaurants, shopping, I mean, you are right here real close by. You're, you, you know, you got, you got shopping... What, within two miles from here? Yeah, mile, you're at Walmart. Mm -hmm. You know, you got Kroger out here, but the restaurants out here, you can get into Frisco, into Little Elm. You were talking about crossing the lake to get into like Lake Dallas and, yeah. you know, in, in into that area. Denton's not too far away. They got great restaurants there. Denton's about 15 minutes. Yep. Uh, the Star in Frisco where the, where the Cowboys practice, kind of the, the $5 billion miles, right. 30 minutes away. Yeah, DFW is about 35 minutes away. Yep. Uh, Little Elm, the marina, the beach, all the Little Elm has to offer is yeah. 8 miles away. Yeah. So this is a fantastic location. Also being south of 380, if you are commuting uh, in the southern direction, is a big deal. It's a sure. big difference. It's, difference. it's huge. If you're north of 380, you're, you're, you're almost doubling your, your commute time. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, over the, over time, when they put the overpasses and yeah. things like that in, it'll clear up. But right now, when they get to six lanes, yeah. there's a lot of construction that's going to happen on 380 yeah. that this is nice to be south of it. Absolutely. Yeah. But it, it, this is just a beautiful community, beautiful community. And there's a lot of development going on out here, too. So, you know, when you, when you come out and, and take a look, uh, you'll see a lot of empty lots right now. But uh, Lane was talking, you got 1,200 lots that are going to be here fully built out. Uh, you know, and there, there, there's some other home builders. But I will tell you that just meeting you, mm -hmm. hearing the history of Perry right. and a family-owned business. I mean, a lot of the stuff that you talked about, mm -hmm. the features and the advantages of, do, of buying with Perry, has to do with the fact that it's a family-owned business. Absolutely. You know, I mean, the warranty, the care that they take in, in pouring the foundation and conditioning the soil, all that is because they're a small family-owned business, but they put up a lot of homes. Yeah, yeah we build over 2,000 homes a year right yep. now uh, in different areas, but it all started with Mr. Perry's vision of really quality home at a value price. Yeah, Because he saw fantastic. Lots of good homes but they were very expensive and then yep. lots of inexpensive homes that weren't of great quality so sure just, sure and uh, it's now run by his daughter kathy Britton. okay so there's another home building company here in town called Britton Homes. we've seen those yep uh, and those are uh, a little bit more expensive a okay more customizable all right uh, but but the same bones yeah the same bones. That's fantastic. Well, for those of you that have been watching, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting you, Lane. Robert. 
uh, and again, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that Lane's information is going to be uh, on the post. Uh, we'll make sure you get all that information. If you want to come out here to Prairie Oaks, meet Lane, just get in contact with us. We'll meet you out here. We'll take a look at, at, at the model homes because there's two others to go through. But I, I'll tell you right now, for, for Samantha and I, and in, in the state uh, that we are in our relationship, we have adult children. This particular house is fantastic for us. I, I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Lane. It was a pleasure too.